Hi everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today on how to create a group booking from our booking chart. So as you can see we are on our booking chart at the moment. This can be accessed via your main menu search in the top left and for those of you who are using this regularly we recommend pinning this to your favorites menu on the left. Once you're on the chart, if you are wanting to make a group booking, you'll simply need to change the booking mode in the top right to group mode. Once selected, you'll see that the name of this updates and you'll then be able to select multiple rooms or sites to create a group booking. All you need to do is select the first room or site that you would like to book. Once that has been selected, you will then be able to select all other rooms or sites that you want to book under that group. You will see that you'll get a group grand total when you hover and if you're happy to move forward with this we can then simply head to the add from chart new booking group in the top right corner. This will then take us to the add group booking page and this is where we need to set who will be traveling and essentially who will be paying for the group. We have our group guest contact which is most likely the person that you're speaking with over the phone or is making the group booking. We can search and select their profile if they've stayed with us before. Again if they have not you are able to create a new guest profile with the plus sign. We then on the right have our actual group name which is generally the reason this is a group booking. So if John travels yearly for a reunion we could simply place into here it's our John Doe reunion. March 23 and that just makes it easy to identify and to search throughout the new book system and you'll also be able to see that group name on the booking chart. We have our earliest arrival and latest departure which is essentially just looking at all of the bookings below and it's seeing whether there are any within that list that are checking in a little earlier or departing later than one another. You'll see within the list here we're able to register who is actually going to be staying within each room. If I know that John is going to be in this particular one, I can search and select him here. If I'm unsure as to who is going to be traveling in these remaining rooms, I can leave them blank for now. You'll see it shows what site or room has been selected from the booking chart, but you have the option to change this here. We also have our arrival and departure dates rate type which has been preset. You have the ability to change these details within here using the drop down. Anywhere that you see the arrow, this will actually allow you to apply bulk changes to all of the bookings as well. This section here that we're about to go through which is called our billing client account is extremely important as this is who will be paying for the overall group booking. This scenario we're going to have the group pay into one account. So John is essentially going to be the person who handles the payment for the total group. So what we need to do is select build to group and then we simply select the arrow downwards and that will update all bookings. So essentially John will have one bill to settle for all bookings within that group for the total of $2,235. We can see there is the occupant column here which has a edit pencil if we wanted to adjust a booking individually from here and we also have the stay cost per booking. You are able to double click and override the total at a booking level. This can also be done in the overall group total here. If you are wanting to apply bulk changes to bookings, such as occupant changes, arrival or departure changes, even billing account detail changes, you are best to use our bulk update option on the left. So simply select all bookings and with them we want to update selected bookings. This allows us to override the dates so I can simply untick what I want to change and then adjust here and select done. The same goes for things like rates, discounts, travel agents and any other marketing information on here as well. Also the occupants if we wanted to increase this overall for each booking. Once we've made those changes we can simply save and new book will update those for us where you can see the departure has been amended. Our rate has actually decreased as well and we can see we have our extra occupants updated in this column. If we want to add an extra booking on we have a shortcut here to add booking which will follow the above settings. You'll simply need to ensure that you place them on an available room or site. If you are looking to add bulk bookings, simply add bulk bookings here. Select the amount that you're wanting to add and what category of accommodation you're wanting to pull those from. With this scenario, you will need to make sure that you dictate who pays the account. So simply ensure it says build to group and then save. And that's going to add those additional three 
powered site bookings onto this group and we can see the overall total has increased as well. Underneath here we have our deposit rules which is advising how much we are going to need to pay overall for this group in order for it to be confirmed today. If there are no other adjustments that we need to make we can simply select the save button in the bottom section here or save in the top right whichever is your preference. Once saved that will then create our group booking ID which we can see with the red text here. We've got our success message. You'll also notice our billing section here, which is advising the cost of the overall group. And you can also see that our overall amount outstanding is 2,880 and the deposit requested is also matching, indicating full payment needs to be taken today. You can see that as we're billing to the group account, the charges are billing into the group client account here. We also have the list of bookings down below, all advising that their default client account is issued to the exact same group account. So we know all billing items relating to this day are going to be found in this account. To pay this off, simply click on the payment box, ensure the amount is correct and select how it is you'd like to process this transaction and save. As we've processed that via the group, we can then see it brings us to our receipt page and I can simply print this off and hand it to the group organizer or send this to the booking group contact. When I select this option, it's simply pulling John's details and I can then select any templates available for group bookings, such as a group confirmation. You'll be able to see here it has a summary of their overall details, whether anything is outstanding and it also gives them a booking list. The best thing about NewBook is that we can also allow John access to actually view the group booking online and update the names within each of these bookings. If we're happy to send this, simply send email in the top right. If we pop back to view the group booking, we'll notice the text is no longer read. The overall group is confirmed. We can see the $0 balance and each booking status for each of those individual bookings is confirmed as well. Final group booking scenario I would like to take a look at is very much the same, however we've got a group where each guest that's travelling is going to pay their own way. So heading back to our bookings chart, what I'm going to do again is update our mode to be in group, select my first room and my last ones and then simply add from chart new booking group. This time we're going to select Jane Doe. Once I've selected her name, over on the right I'm going to say Jane Doe Reunion, March 23. Jane has advised this time each person is going to be playing their own way. When we do this, it's imperative that we register each individual guest to each booking that they're going to be staying in so that when they call we know which account to pay off correctly. So we can pop Jane in here. I'm then going to search and select who is going to be staying in the other two rooms and John is actually going to be traveling in both of those, so I'll register him here. As before, we can update the room or sites, their arrival and departure dates, rates, occupants and pricing. Again, if you do need to do multiple updates, you are best to use the bulk select and update selected bookings option. With this scenario, I'm simply going to show you how we bill to individual accounts. So with this particular option, I'm going to say billing client account needs to be to each individual booking and then apply that down. So NewBook will know to split these into their own unique accounts under the guest that is traveling on those particular bookings. Once we are happy with that, we can then save. It will create a, another group booking ID for us, which you can see is still in red because it can tell that overall that the um, group has not paid yet. You'll see the success message. You'll still see that over here we have our total rate. We also have a member that's traveling and it's automatically attached Jane's discount to her booking. But you'll also notice in this section there is no option to pay on the group and it's telling us that it is billing individually to other client accounts and if we have a look below we can see the actual bookings, the names and the default client accounts advising each are paying their own accounts. So if Jane would like to pay her account today all we would do is click into her booking which is going to take us to the view of her stay and you'll see the red text, it's an unconfirmed status and it's telling us in order for her to confirm today, she can either pay a deposit of 175 or the full 315. 
if we take full payment, select how we process that and save this, it's going to take us to a receipt and it's going to update her booking to confirm because she has specifically paid for her stay. If I send this off, it's going to go to her personal booking email address and it's going to send her confirmation for her particular stay within the group. So you'll see it pulls through her contact info. We select the template such as our confirmation. That's then going to confirm her details for her stay and we can then send in the top right corner. If we have a look back at the booking, we're going to see that the red text is gone, her status is confirmed, and there's a nice $0 green balance. If we'd like to get back to view the whole group, we can actually click onto this shortcut next to Jane's name where we can see that the overall group is still unconfirmed because we haven't received full payment for all bookings within it yet, but we can see that her specific booking has been confirmed. If we did want to reach out to these two guests to send them a tentative confirmation to let them know we've at least locked them in, we could tick both bookings here and with selected, we can send contact. And that's going to allow us to send each of them booking confirmations or other types of templates that you have available in your system. Once selected, we can then send that off. And that is essentially our group booking done where each guest pays their own way. The last areas I'd like to run through with you are how you're actually able to bulk update guests within groups. If we are on our group view page, within the update button, there is a bulk guest edit. This is great for staff being able to simply manually type the guest details per booking and then simply save within the system. Newbook will do its best to link that up to existing guest profiles based on your duplicate guest parameters. Alternatively, it will create a new name if it is unable to link those up. The other option is great if you've got really big group bookings where they may need to consistently add to a list and once it's finalized, they can actually send you that back and you can upload it. So we could provide the group organizer with a template to use. They then fill it out, they send it back, we save it on our computer and we head into here and we simply upload the file from our new book drive. And that will pre-fill the names into these areas below and then you would simply save. The third option is where we send a group organizer an email with a link to our online booking engine and that will allow them to log in and update the guests themselves. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today on our group bookings. If you've got any additional questions, please head to the question mark icon on the top right and that's going to show you any additional articles relating to group bookings. Alternatively, reach out to our support team for some additional.